Chelsea hired Mauricio Pochettino to turn the tide after a hugely disappointing 2022-23 season. Chelsea co-owner Todd Bowley is faced with abandoning his original plan for Mauricio Pochettino as pressure mounts on the struggling manager. Sunday's dismal defeat at home to Wolves sparked fresh questions around Pochettino's future despite the Argentine only being in place for eight months. The Blues have now gone three games without a win in all competitions while conceding four goals in each of their last two matches. A 4-1 defeat at Liverpool last week was followed by a 4-2 humbling in front of their own fans as Wolves left Stamford Bridge jubilant. Pochettino's position is becoming increasingly tenuous, which threatens to force Bully into a tricky decision. Bringing in new management has not worked thus far, with the American billionaire and Clear Lake Capital bidding farewell to Thomas Tuchel, Graham Potter and Frank Lampard during their short reign. Another exit would see Bowley go back on one of his early promises to Pochettino. According to journalist Ben Jacobs, the two parties agreed right from the start that an end-of-season review would take place no matter what. The meeting was reportedly arranged to include a two-way element, where Pochettino gets the chance to feed back to the owners and vice versa. However, Bowley would have to go back on his commitment if the growing discontent among supporters sees Pochettino dismissed. Wednesday's FA Cup fourth round replay against Aston Villa now takes on added importance as the former Tottenham boss fights for his future. The Blues then face a tough Premier League doubleheader with trips to Crystal Palace and Manchester City. Pochettino has banked extra credit by overseeing an impressive Carabao Cup run, which has set up a mouth-watering final against Liverpool later this month. But he may not even be in his post when the trip to Wembley rolls around. With the wife of Chelsea star Thiago Silva among those to publicly call for change, the Blues boss himself admitted on Sunday that he and his players have not been meeting the required standards. I think we are all not good enough, that's the reality, said Pochettino. Myself also, as the first person responsible. Of course, what we showed today was that we are not good enough. I agree, 100%.